In today's story, I'll be telling you about a young environmentalist using many different tactics to get his message across. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects with each person involved in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn for country number 19, Benin. The subject for my portrait for Benin is Anas Seco, who appears on Instagram as Le Ramasseur Dodo, which translates as The Garbage Collector. Benin is a country in West Africa with a small southern coastline that is part of the Gulf of Guinea in the northernmost tropical portion of the Atlantic Ocean. It is bordered by countries beginning with T, B and 2 with N. I have been asked to give the results of these geography quizzes and so these will be revealed in the masking tape removal part of the video at the end. The primary environmental concerns in Benin are desertification, deforestation, wildlife endangerment and water pollution. In middle school, Anas started to become aware of ecology. He was shocked by the attitude of some classmates who threw their waste in the schoolyard despite the presence of garbage cans. With friends, he took the initiative to meet the principal and offered to conduct health and awareness sessions within the school. After obtaining his baccalaureate in 2015, he became a volunteer environmental photographer for the blog Adiyemi. He campaigned in a number of environmental associations before initiating in 2019 the ecological pressure movement and the concept Mon Anniversaire Ma Patrie. One of the flagship projects that he initiated and that made him well known is that of the SOS Embarcadère campaign, which lasted from 2019 to 2020. The objective was to lobby to draw the attention of the Beninese government to the terrible conditions and ecological disaster that prevailed at the Gonvier Pier, a floating village. This campaign attracted the attention of the authorities who were obliged to deploy the means to clean up the area. The campaign also raised a wave of indignation in Gonvier and led some residents to organise their own regular campaigns. Building of infrastructure and clean-up campaigns have now occurred there. The Tu en Veste campaign is a project Anas worked on with a friend which consisted of picking up waste dressed in a bright jacket to send a strong message to the authorities and the population. Anas has initiated various campaigns with Beninese singers and comedians to raise awareness of ecology and inform the population on important issues. The digital campaign, Etre Fraisse et aussi préserver son environnement, used young jargon and social media to raise awareness among young people about the importance of a clean living environment. Anas started the Mon Anniversaire Ma Patrie initiative, which translates as My Birthday, My Homeland, which consists of getting each citizen to do social actions to mark their birthday. Through this new project, his group have already moved more than 30 people to take an interest in community actions such as health campaigns and plastic waste collection. Thanks to these different social communication actions, Anas has established a network of young people who follow him on social networks and who have become sensitive to environmental issues. If you'd like to find out more about Anas and his various projects, or would even like to get involved, I've put links in the description below. Final words from Anas are The preservation of the environment is not a matter of inclination or personal taste. It is a question of vitality that concerns absolutely everyone. Whether you are a mason, doctor or restorer, you must preserve the environment because without plants, animals and natural environments, there is no life on earth. There is no human life.
There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page, and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting an environmentalist often referred to as Bhutan's godfather of conservation.